Hi guys, this is Az from Integrum Health and Wellness. Today we're going to talk about relationships, in particular the Jenga relationship. Now, if you haven't heard of this term, the Jenga relationship is the terminology that I use to refer to a type of relationship that is currently going through a struggle. Uh, the struggle that it's going through resembles the game of Jenga. So if you haven't seen Jenga before, I'll put one up here so that you can see it. It's the small blocks that you pull out from the bottom and you place on the top. And you both continue to pull things out and place them onto the top. The winner is the one who doesn't drop the tower. So at some point you pull one out and the tower comes collapsing down. Winner, loser. Make sense? The Jenga relationship is something that people get into normally from a very small argument and it builds and it builds and it builds. So let's work through an example. Let's say that the boyfriend didn't do the dishes on Friday night. So on Saturday morning, the girlfriend decides that she's not going to do the hoovering. And then the boyfriend decides, well, he's not going to take out the trash. And these things go back and forth, back and forth, and they start to escalate into slightly bigger issues, such as not texting to let them know you're coming home, not coming home, staying out with friends, you stop communicating, and you keep trying to one-up each other. You keep taking from the bottom and placing it on the top. So, as you can tell and as you can imagine, you keep taking things out from the foundation, at some point it's all going to topple down around you. Jenga relationships are a real poisonous thing to get into. It's a matter of ego and pride taking over and it takes over our rational mind. It stops us making conscious, rational decisions. And it also destroys our empathy and our sympathy for our partner. We're too busy trying to win and we don't think about what we're doing and how it's affecting them and why it might be making them behave the way they are. What I'm not saying is to allow people to walk all over you, but what I'm saying is that when you have an issue, when you take issue with your spouse, and this also happens within family dynamics as well, rather than trying to one-up, trying to get your own back, trying to balance it that way, open up a line of communication. Try to understand why they've done what they've done, why they said what they said, why they're doing whatever it is that they're doing. Stop playing games with each other and talk about it. This is Az from Integrum Health and Wellness, wishing you well.